diving into features of Word 2013. Word 2013 has some exciting features that allow you to create documents more easily with a more professional look. Word 2013 is also touch-friendly for use on touchscreen monitors. When you open Word 2013, as a default, you will be at a landing page that shows you the available templates you can use to create your own amazing documents. If you know the type of document you're going to create, you could click into the Search for Online Templates and type what you're looking for. And when you hit Enter, you'll find templates that have to do with that topic. You could go back to the home page by clicking on Home. You could also use templates from the available searches. So you could click on Letters to see templates that are letters. If you're going to do a resume, you could click on Resume and pick from one of the resumes. If you'd like to see a little bit more information on any of these templates, you could click on the thumbnail and you would see a little bit more information on that. If it's one you would like to use, you would click on Create. Also on the home screen, you could pick from the available templates that are listed. If you're going to do a company newsletter, you could click on that. And again, you would see a little bit more information on that template, and you could click on Create. I'm going to go and open up an existing file to talk about some of the other Word 2013 features. When you open a file that you've been in before, you'll get a welcome back, and it will allow you to pick up where you left off, even if you had been in this document on another computer. If I click there, it will take me down to that location within the file. I can go to a specific page within the document. If I go down and click on the page numbers, which will open up the navigation pane. And then I'll get a thumbnail of each of the pages within this document. And I can quickly go to the page that I'd like to go to. When working with pictures and objects, you can change the layout options by clicking the button next to the picture and choosing the type of layout you would like to work with. You can move the picture around and place it where you'd like to place it. If you'd like to be a little bit more exact with your picture layout, you could turn on the alignment guides. To turn them on, you would go to the Page Layout tab, go over to Align, and choose Use Alignment Guides. And then when you move your picture or object, you will get green lines when you're lined up to the top of a paragraph and to either side of a paragraph. It will also tell you when you're centered within a paragraph. I'm going to close my navigation pane and go to the top of my document by doing Control Home on the keyboard. If you used paragraph styles within your document, such as Heading 1, Heading 2, Heading 3, you can collapse a paragraph by going to that paragraph and clicking on the triangle next to it. This will collapse the detail underneath that paragraph until it meets another style of the same level. To expand that paragraph again, I click on the triangle. I can also right-click into a paragraph that has a style attached, and I can go to Expand Collapse, and I could collapse all the headings. And then, in this case, I'll only see my main headings. And again, I could right-click on any of these paragraphs, Expand Collapse, and expand all the headings to see all the detail. There is a read mode that hides the ribbon, tabs, and other parts of the Word screen and allows you to read your document very similar to reading a book. To get into the read mode, on the status bar at the very bottom, you would click on Read Mode. If you had a touch screen, you could use your hand to move to the other pages. If you do not, you could click on the arrows 
to go within the document. If you have a picture and you would like to zoom in on that picture, you could right click on the picture and zoom in. And then you could zoom in further. When you click outside the picture, it will zoom back out. You have a view menu up at the top where you could see the navigation pane and be able to go to specific pages from here. You could also use the view menu to look at different page colors. And you could also change the layout from column to paper layout. When you're done, you could go back into your print layout view, which is the default view in Word. There is also a feature to insert online pictures or videos. So you would get your cursor where you would like the picture or video. You would go to the Insert tab. And if you would like a picture, you could go to Online Pictures. You could look at pictures from office.com. You could go and do a Bing search. You could go to your SkyDrive to find pictures. You could also find pictures on Facebook or Flickr. If you want an online video, you would go to the Insert tab and choose Online Video. And again, you could pick a Bing search. You could choose an embedded code video. And you could also insert a video from YouTube. It is easy to save your documents to an online location. To do this, you would go to File and Save As. And you could save it to a SharePoint site or to a SkyDrive site. You could also add other sites as well. If you have a PDF file that you would like to edit in Word, you can also do that. I'm going to open up a file that is a PDF file. It will tell me it is going to convert the PDF file to a Word document, and I'll go ahead and click on OK. And now I am in the PDF file, and I can make changes to that file just like I would make changes to a Word document. And I can save it either as a Word document or I could save it in a PDF format again. And this has been an introduction to some of the exciting features in Word 2013.